Joining us now is Mark Calabria, Director of Financial Regulatory Studies at the Cato Institute. Who's we also talking? have CNBC Steve what? Leisman. Yes, I don't Larry? get this. It's, will you help me out? What is, boy, no one's saying the Fed can't open up the discount window, Steve. Where's that coming from? What's that all about? Steve, explain to I us. I don't get well, this. Well, my, my understanding is they're going to take away the ability to do extraordinary lending to an individual um, uh, bank. And that's, I think, the concern, one of the concerns that Bullard has. It was getting, getting back to that discussion, that great discussion you and I had last week, Larry, about the backdoor bailout thing that right. Sheila Bear was so concerned about. I think, Mark Calabria, I know you and I are on the opposite sides of this, but I heard Dodd say, first of all, as Steve said, Sheila Bear attacked a Dodd bill for allowing backdoor bailouts. Dodd responds within a short period of time to see, uh, his people talk to CNBC, Steve Leisman, and say, all right, we are going to strip out. There will be no backdoor bailouts. It will be virtually impossible. And then over the weekend, Bernanke makes a uh, little speech and says, too big to fail is pernicious. Right. Now, I know you're a skeptic. But this sounds to me like we are, in fact, moving in the direction of either abolishing or certainly curbing too big to fail bailouts that by was the government. My first question as well. It was. I'm yes. sorry. Then we are yes. united. And we are we're united. Have, before we go out to have lunch at the French <laughs> restaurant, we are united that it looks like too big to fail is dead in the water. Mark, why are you stubbornly opposing this growing consensus? <laughs> well, I, I would say I, I'm the. I'm the leading edge of that consensus. I really do think we need to end too big to fail. I just think we need to look beyond press releases and we need to look beyond spin and rhetoric and we need to actually read the legislation. And when I read the legislation, I mean, granted, if Senator Dodd has come out with something new today over the weekend that actually fixes the parts of the bill that allow these bailouts, then I think that's to be applauded. That said, my read of the language of the bill is, it's like says, no more bailouts except under A, B, C, or D. And as long as we have those A, B, C, or D exceptions, you know, we're going to have yeah, you Steve, purists, how do you read it? You purists need to sort of get, I think, a little bit of reality going Ooh. here. And here's the reality. Ooh. The reality is when a big bank has a big problem, it hurts and affects everyone. And there will be discussion about how to stop that bank from failing in a way that does not bring the economy to its knees. Yeah, I guess and, the and, question and, though, Steve, we don't want those ad hoc bailouts, right? Well, I mean, that's but, what Trish, they will be ad hoc. Let me finish my thought here, please. Let me finish my thought. There, I, 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 finish my thought. The there is system. no way. There is no way that you can establish a system that is not ad hoc. Let's say it's a system that is in legislation, Trish. Okay, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're criticized by the Wall Street Journal op-ed page as creating essentially a too big to fail. Uh, but can't you help uh, them that says, fail go without taking fail. down the system? I mean, can't, can't you, you just have let them go like Yes, failure? you can. That's what this tries to do. Okay. Yes. But the so criticism, there we go. Is, and I don't think it does that. Go ahead, Mark. I mean, they, the, the criticism uh, well, is that it tries well, to do this, basically sets up a system that says, we will protect you. That's the criticism. And I don't think it, do, I don't think it does in one. I think it's important that as long as institutions and creditors of those institutions think that there is a safety valve, they're going to take advantage of that safety valve. And I, and I think yeah. it's a legitimate right. point but to Mark, say, Mark. well, OK, we're going to have institutions fail, yeah. Mark. but institutions need to plan for that failure. Right, yes. Look what Bernanke's saying well, over the, the weekend, thing. what he said on Saturday. He said the, uh, the resolution agency should not be allowed to protect shareholders and other capital providers. But that's in the bill. It should have clear, uh, that's what I'm saying, it should have clear authority to impose losses on debt holders, override contracts, replace managers and directors. It's in the bill. It has it has this living well, will. It has a bankruptcy court piece to it. I mean, I, look, uh, Steve Leesman, I I'm on the wrong side of this from the standpoint of my conservative friends. Right. I think they are actually moving in the right direction. Everything I hear and says I, that. And I just don't think it does that. And there's well, three where, bankruptcy where judges that determine the solvency right. of the bank, by the way. This is so what that we want. Solves, that solved the Republican criticism that said, yes. use the bankruptcy process. Yes. They're using it. I'm just pointing out the Wall Street Journal and other conservatives. I had a chat with Steve Forbes. He does doesn't like the idea. He thinks it holds out basically the, the, the placard that says go ahead and fail because we'll protect you. No, but okay. the $50 billion, billion dollar bank assessment, mm -hmm. the $50 do, uh, billion dollar bank assessment, Mark Calabria, which I guess the banks don't like. Now, I, that's different from the bank tax, which I completely oppose. Right. But this assessment could not be nothing more than debtor in possession safety net financing when the bankruptcy comes. Think about that. Well, for I, I, I'd have two reactions to that. The language needs to clearly specify that that's all oh, it's okay. allowed to do to pay okay. off administrative expenses and not use to bail out creditors, because otherwise people are going to perceive it that way 
And it's never been explained. I mean, the right, regulators should come. I, 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 we'll I, leave it there. Yes. I amend my earlier remarks. That Ma is a Mark good point. Was going for a, Larry was going for an on-television conversion here of Mark, <laughs> well, but I guess it <laughs> didn't like happen. Listen, we're all going